So will the EG4 6500 inverters run my well pump? Let's find out. All right, before I move my well line, I wanted to see what the max current draw was going to be. My wife's running the wash right now, so it looks like when the well turns on, we've got 27.86 amps on one leg. Which again, you know, it's, it's not bad. I need to see what the average run is, but obviously it's going to be under 27, 28 amps. Which is cool! So I'm going to see if I can get that moved over and then we can run another test on the uh, solar side. 8.2 amps per leg. It's not bad. So I just finished getting the well switched over to the inverter panel. Um, it helps to have all the parts you need so you don't have to run back to the store. Yeah, I thought I had a 20 amp double pull breaker for my inverter combiner panel and I had a Siemens breaker, but the panel that is used for my inverters is a home line panel. And there's this tiny, tiny little tab on the bus bar that prevents a Siemens breaker from locking in all the way. So, yep, didn't realize that, had to go to the store. I was hoping I could just move the panel from, or the breaker from this panel over to the other one. Uh, you can see on the smart shunt and solar assistant we're currently drawing about 215 watts out of the battery since i've been gone a little while pressure tank has been turned off for i don't know an hour or so maybe two hours and my wife's been trying to make dinner so we've got no um pressure left all right let's flip the breaker and watch what happens Nice little spike there. We're currently pulling 30 amps from the batteries, 1600 watts. And the well's working perfect. I love it. I love it when a plan comes together. All right, so I don't wanna just leave it there. I wanna look at running the well with a few larger loads just to see again how, how it's going to perform. So I turned off the well circuit breaker, went through the house, flushed all the toilets multiple times. Uh, I ran the sink a little bit just to get that, that pressure down. And we are back down to zero on the pressure tank. So perfect. All right, so I want to run some additional tests, just as kind of load tests while the well is running. I'm going to run a microwave and We'll then add in a vacuum cleaner. Those are two fairly higher loads um, and see how everything runs together. So I've got Ian getting ready to turn the microwave on. We're currently looking at a 532 watt load on the system right now, 713 out of the battery. So as soon as I see Ian turn on the microwave upstairs, we're gonna turn on the well and he's gonna run the microwave for 30 seconds. So. Should be an interesting test. I hear things ramping up. All right, there we go. We're up to 22. Turn on the well now. Okay, now we got a big spike there. 38, now let's turn on the vacuum. 53, oh, that was sweet. Look at the loads. 25 and 21 on one. That's neat. That's probably... All right, turn that all off. Let it all settle back down. It's probably the biggest spike in loads that we've had on the system as of yet. <laughs> but no problems at all. I guess we'll have to let the well pressure tank fill back up so that we can actually use the water again. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have any problems. If, if these inverters can run that uh, shopsmith saw, this should be nothing. 
I mean, the startup amps is half the startup amps of that Shopsmith, and I mean, the, the, the running amps is higher, but not by much. Actually, come to think of it, no, it was about seven amps. So, yeah, that's not bad at all. That's nothing. Awesome. So, another circuit was able to get moved over to this, this panel. And now we can keep on running some more, uh, more tests. All right. Y'all stay safe. Stay warm. I'll catch up with you later.